Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and they have just released the trailer for episode 11, Deflagration. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this episode yet. <laughs> but anyway, it's linked down below for you for a spoiler or few now. I'm going to go through and analyse it, but like always, haven't read the show bible or seen any of the leaks, so if you already know for certain what happens in this episode, great, good for you. Don't worry, you don't need to tell me. Someone already emailed me all of the Google Drive links to every single leak that has been released, okay? If I want to know, all the answers are in my email. I don't need it in the YouTube comments section. Thank you very much. So, let's go over this. So, obviously, this is part two to what we saw before, and that's what happened in Transmission. Adrian and Marinette kind of got together slash quite not really. It was basically the beginnings of their relationship becoming more. So Adrian being the romantic boy he is, takes Marinette on a date in the school cafeteria because <laughs> why not? I don't know. I've personally never been taken to a date in the school cafeteria but you know, I like Adrian's imagination here. He probably can't take her out somewhere else. And this is an environment Marinette feels somewhat comfortable in, so I don't think it's that bad of an idea. And he even brought a little rose for the table, but it's a bit disturbing how everyone is just basically watching them. None of them are being subtle about it, um, but there is Mark who just doesn't seem to care. So antisocial, he's just put his hood up, and I am Mark <laughs> in this scene. So the date seems to be going well, but Chloe, Lila, and Sabrina will spot them. Obviously, Chloe isn't happy about this. Then Marinette, being Marinette, falls out of her chair. I'm not sure why or what could have caused it, but that's Marinette for you. And Chloe takes the opportunity to come over and probably say something not very nice because the next thing we know, as Adrian helps Marinette up, Zoe is making her way over and she makes Chloe go and sit back down. And if we pause it, we can also see what I think is the miraculous on Zoe's finger, which looks like it's... A blue and pink coloured band, which looks really pretty actually. I really like it. It really goes with Zoe. So she obviously has a go at her sister and everybody starts cheering and Mark is so happy he even took his hood down for it. We stand Mark on this channel. <laughs> at the same time, Gabriel Babes is showing Natalie what he's found out with the Alliance ring. He's showing her his big brain scheme that he knows Alia and Zoe are the new holders of the Ladybug and Cap Noir Miraculouses. So he goes down to talk to his wife about his dastardly plan slash look at his teeth in the reflection of a fridge. Um, whilst upstairs, Natalie's having a bit of a moral dilemma because like, while she's probably like, yeah, I see we're pretty much like, they're in our reach at the same time. Emily didn't want this. As we saw from these videos in Passion, we now know for sure that Emily didn't want this. But Gabriel Babes does not care. He's having the time of his life during his midlife crisis. He goes up to his lair, transforms, and he gets the powers of the bee, the mouse, the rooster, the ox, and the horse. Um, I'm not sure who he transfers them to though. I'm kind of thinking he may just be using them for himself, to be honest. And he uses the horse miraculous to make a portal to go somewhere. I would assume maybe straight to straight to school because he knows the kids will be there. That's why I'm saying like he got the horse's power and then he immediately uses the horse. So part of me is wondering if he's using these powers for himself and he's not planning on akumatizing someone and giving them the powers. He's just like, yep, I know where the miraculouses are. I'm just going to get them for myself. You know what I mean? So now we've got a trailer. I would assume that means we are close to an air date. But Gloop haven't said anything, TF1 haven't said anything, RTS haven't said anything, Disney Channel haven't said anything. I have no idea who is airing this right now. No idea. It looks amazing though. I'd love to know what you think, besties, but please, like I said, if you've read the leaks and already know what happens, I'd rather you just didn't leave a comment at all. Thank you very much. I'd love to know what you all think, and I'll see you in the next one.